With many left shocked at how quickly the incident unraveled, some might be left with concerns for bridges here in Maine. Yeah, today New Center Maine's Caroline LaCour spoke with engineering experts at the Maine Department of Transportation about how they work to prevent something similar from happening here. Caroline? Yeah, Sam and Chris, Maine DOT explains that the modern day bridges that we cross over or even under are built with some of those concerns in mind, especially after a crash damaged the former million dollar bridge that used to stand right behind me here in Portland. Now, uh, after that, a large tankard hit the bridge in 1996. The Casco Bay Bridge was made to replace it and was built with many safeguards in place. For example, operation crews above are watching 24 hours a day to keep track of oncoming boats and works closely with the Coast Guard to follow maritime rules. And on the off chance an accident does occur, the bridge is equipped with fenders or bumpers that would prevent any significant damage to the structure. Well, we have had incidents where Casco Bay has been hit um, and it has caused some damage to the dolphins or the fenders, which are helping to prevent. They're like they're like, you know, the, the bumpers to say stay away from the bridge. But basically it's pretty minimal damage to the fender system. Now, we also got a chance to speak with the Portland Harbor Masters board chair, uh, who sort of explained that local pilots will also hop onto oncoming vessels to help them steer underneath the Casco Bay Bridge to further prevent any sort of crashes. Uh, Zach and uh, Chris and Sam. All right, Caroline LaCour live in Portland tonight. Thanks so much.